Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon tank and yesterday I did a water change where I trimmed my water lily here and removed a bunch of the pads that were floating on the surface. And in that video I referred to it as a water lily and I got a question from a viewer about whether or not this was a water lily or a tiger lotus because they had been sold something similar and it was sold to them under the name red tiger lotus. And indeed, this was sold to me under the name Red Tiger Lotus. So I was about to respond to them saying that lilies and tiger lotus is just a different way of saying the same plant. But I looked up, you know, looked into it just to make sure I wasn't putting wrong information out there. And I'm glad I did because there is a difference between a water lily and a tiger lotus. They're in the same family, but they are different species of plants and they have some clearly different um, characteristics and growth habits that clearly define this as a standard common basic water lily. There's nothing even fancy about it. That red um, mottled coloring and that sort of purple coloring in there, that's just a basic water lily. There's nothing special about this at all. I can find these floating out at Pretty Boy Reservoir. Um, not too much difference. So what the difference between a lotus and a lily is, uh, two key things that are very, very easy to tell the difference between. First of all, a lily is not going to grow emergent. The leaves will only grow up to the surface and then they will float on the surface and never rise up above it. The flowers will do the same thing unless you got one of the few annual tropical varieties uh, that, where the flowers actually do grow emergent. But typically a water lily, like the one we're looking at, the flowers will never grow emergent they only float across the surface of the water. The other telltale aspect that indicates this is a lily and not a lotus is that slit in the leaf. A lotus leaf is completely round with the stem just coming up through the center on the bottom. If it's got this slit in it, it's a lily. And the lotus also grows emergent. Both the leaves will grow up and out of the water and the flowers will grow up and out of the water. Um, the tiger lotus or the lotus flower is a lot bigger. The lotus leaves are a lot bigger. The lotus can actually grow up to eight feet out of the water. Um, you know, there's, there's secondary characteristics like that that we would never be able to see in an aquarium environment. But if it doesn't grow out of the water, it's not a lotus. If it floats across the surface, it is a water lily. And it's as simple as that. If it's got this slit in it and it doesn't stick up out of the water, it's a lily. And I would say chances are you've been sold a lily under the name Tiger Lotus because I've seen a lot of these in a lot of shops and a lot of different people's aquariums and they always get referred to as some sort of lotus, which again, as I said, goes back to just the marketing. You know, who wants to buy a water lily when they can have a lotus in their aquarium because a lotus sounds exotic and all that. And you really probably just bought a water lily. So there you go. That's the difference between a lotus and a lily. Lotus grows emergent. A lily does not. And a lily has the slit in the leaf, whereas a lotus has a completely round circular leaf. So thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. Make sure you're subscribed. You never know what you're going to get from me. And then don't forget this here is my 125 gallon tank. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you real soon.